Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool paper burn transition in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like. It creates this really cool paper um, burn transition. Now this transition is part of a pack by Ryan Nagel called the New Bundle um, Plugin Pack. They actually, I believe he also has a free version where you can actually get like one of the transitions. But I want to actually go ahead and go over the paid version and I'll go ahead and put the link in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of go frame by frame. So just kind of give you an idea of how this actually works right here. As you can see, this is what the transition looks like slowed down. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm going to go through all of them. This um, transition pack or this bundle comes with um, four different transitions. As you can see right here, Ryan Nagel New Wave Bundle right here. And here are the Paper Burn. You have Paper Burn 1, Paper Burn 2, Paper Burn 3, and Paper Burn 4. So let's go ahead and Paper Burn 1 is the one that I like the most. So let's apply the Paper Burn. So we're going to go ahead and literally, there you go, just drag the transition um, right in between the two clips. And if it doesn't work, it should pop up with a message. And if you try this and the transition doesn't work, it's probably because your clips are too short. So you're going to want a much longer clip, like one or two seconds. But just in case you had that message pop up, it's probably because your clips are like one second long, so it probably won't work. So here's the paper burn one um, right here. So there is the first one right here. Let's go ahead and do paper burn two. Again, all you gotta do is put it in between um, your two clips right here. So let's go ahead and play paper burn two. And this is what paper burn two has to offer. I personally don't really like it that much. I'm a much bigger fan of number one. And I actually kind of like number three too. So let's try the number three one and see which one. Of course, you have, you obviously can make your own judgment on which one you like the most. I like one and three the best. So this is paper burn three. So this is the third one right here. And let's go for paper burn four right here. And like I said before, Paper Burn 1 and Paper Burn 3 are my favorites. So let's go ahead and play Paper Burn 4 right here. And there you go. There is literally just Paper Burn um, 4 right there. Now like I said before, I like the uh, number 3, but I without a doubt, I'm the biggest fan of the first one right here. So again, let's go ahead and play the Paper Burn right here. And this is what the, the transition looks like um, right here. Now we can actually click on the um, transition right here, and as you can see, you actually have, you can go here to the inspector window right here, the, you can actually click on the transition, and you can actually mess with the transition right here. You can mess um, with the rotation, you have the opacity, so you kind of go through and mess with a whole bunch of different settings right here until you get... Um, um, your desired look right here but this is what the transition looks like right here it's definitely really cool one thing I noticed to keep in mind well two things is you want to make sure your clips are long enough if your clips are too short it might give you like an error message and another thing that I found I'm not sure if it was just my my problem that I encountered but you also you can't really have blue in your video like bright blue you could have a blue spot here and there but I found when I did videos where there was blue in the actual video it like keyed out the blue so it looked it looked horrific so that's why pretty much in this the only colors in this are black white and red um, so just keep that in mind you want long clips and you probably don't want any blue um, in your actual video because I just found that the transition started to actually keyframe the blue out or key the blue out and it looked horrific so that's just one thing to keep in mind those are two problems that I encountered um, while trying to use this transition for the first time but I definitely think it's a really cool transition I believe the pack costs about $20 and I believe he actually has a free pack where I think you can actually get one of the transitions to be honest with you I actually don't know which one it is I'm guessing it's paper burn 2 but if you want all four of them you're gonna have to actually buy the pack I believe and I believe the free one gives you like maybe one or two of them for free but I encourage you to buy the new way bundle there's a whole bunch of different transitions in this pack it's about $20 it's definitely um, a little expensive but I think it's 100% worth it I've downloaded a whole bunch of his plugins and packs and this I think is one of the best ones at least so far anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. 
Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 150 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.